Hi. So I just wanted to go through and share with you guys what I'm going to be using for 2023 when I'm studying the word. Um, I've shared these a lot and this is just one of the questions I get a lot is about these binders and how I use it. So I'm going to share what I'm doing um, and hopefully it's helpful. Maybe you can use it or maybe you can just use aspects of it. But I always find it helpful to see kind of what other people are doing and I can see if I can pull something from that that would work for me. So um, if you followed me for a while, you know that I have two binders. One is for the Old Testament, one is for the New Testament, and they just have dividers in them for all the books of the Bible. So I have all the books of the Bible and um, I just keep stuff in there. You know, if I'm studying a particular book, I will keep certain things in there. I keep recaps and um, just everything. And for me, the purpose is just to have kind of a record of how, what I've studied, right? So currently I'm studying Luke, so I'll just kind of show you. So I've got these pages, just notes. I've got a theme page, a declare truth page. Um, I've studied, let's see what else I've studied in here. Um, I think First John might be in here. Yeah, so I have a bunch of pages from First John. So for me, I just like it because I can kind of go back through if ever I'm like, oh, I want to study First John again. And I have all my notes in one place. So for space purposes, though, because you can see it kind of got gets thick, I do have a separate one for Old Testament and New Testament. So typically, if I'm studying, you know, a particular book, I'll just choose whichever binder it's in and I use that. Um, and this works really well for inductive studying. This was a little bit harder when I was going through chronologically, just because you're all over the place. And so I felt like I was constantly like going back and forth. So this works really well for inductive. So I'm going to share with you what I'm doing for 2023 um, and there'll also be a sneak peek of something coming to the studio. So let me kind of show you that. So this is a separate binder. So this is my Bible reading plan for 2023. This is what me and my friend kind of came up with. We're going to go through and I'm going to share it in the studio just so if anyone else wants to use it. But basically what I wanted is I didn't want to be in one book, in one um, section too much, meaning I didn't want to just be in the New Testament. I didn't want to just be in the Old Testament. So I kind of want to be able to go back and forth. So, um, and also with this plan, it is not, it's a year plan, but you're not going to go through the whole Bible in a year. I did not want to do the rushing thing where you're trying to like get it all done in a year. It's really about doing it inductively and like studying. So it's just a chapter a day. Plus it'll also be a Psalm or a proverb. So basically you start in the New Testament <clears throat> You go through Matthew and then you go to Genesis, so the Old Testament, and then you go back to the New Testament, Mark, and then you'll go to Exodus, and then you'll go back to um, New Testament, Luke, and then go Leviticus, and then you'll go back to John, and then Numbers, and then Acts is the last one, and you don't actually finish Acts, but um, that is how it works, and then every day you also read a psalm. So we'll read Psalm for a few months until we get through it all the way through once. And then we'll do a Proverbs, whatever that is, Proverbs, um, all the way through once. And then we'll go back through the Psalms and you'll get like halfway through it. So that is what I'm going to be doing for my reading plan. Um, I also created, I guess this is another sneak peek. I created theme pages for all the books that are included in here. So I have a theme page that will have, you know, all the numbers for every book so you can kind of write a theme. So what I decided to do is because I'm gonna be in both books for all of 2023, I am going to take the different dividers out of this one and this one, put it in this new binder, and just have this be my binder for 2023. So I'm just gonna put these away like on a shelf. I just don't need them um, and just use this one. And then at the end of the year, I will take it and I will organize everything back if that makes sense. So I'm actually gonna do it right now as we're talking. So. I'm just going to take some stuff. Now, I'm also going to take the beginning stuff that I have in each binder. Um, so I have a Bible um, page. And the behind the Bible divider is just a bunch of note stuff, right? So just um, pages um, that I use for taking notes. And so that when I need to take notes, I can just easily take it. And then I'm going to take the word study, which has some word study pages. And then I have declare truth. And that just has some blank declare truth pages. So I like to have everything kind of at the front of my Bible or my front of my binder, like ready to go. 
Then I'm gonna take Genesis and anything that's behind Genesis. So I have a bookmark, I have a recap, and that's it so far. Take that, I'm gonna take Exodus, Leviticus, and Numbers, because that is what we are going through in the Old Testament. So I took all that, put it in my new binder, close this one up, and I am going to, oh, just kidding, I wanna take Psalms too, because we are going through Psalms. So I'm gonna take the Psalms, oh, and Proverbs, huh? So Psalms, I'm not gonna take Psalm 46 because that was kind of like a separate study that I did and that's why I put that in here. Um, but I'm gonna take Proverbs as well. So basically just anything we're gonna be using and it's really easy, that's why I kind of love the binder system. It's super easy when I'm done, you know, at the end of the year to, um, you know, put it all back together. So then from this one, I'm going to take what I'm gonna be using, which is Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and Acts. Just take those out. Okay, so now I have a binder basically ready to go. I'll keep my reading plan up here and then I'll organize these later and I'll put them behind each and every section so that I, it's organized but now you know when I decide to like start in January on Matthew I can just flip to Matthew open it up I've got a bookmark and then I can you know obviously grab from my Bible section any of the pages I need and start studying it and then every day when I read Psalms the same concept um, I might not take notes in here for Psalms I might just take it in my Bible it kind of depends on what exactly I'm doing um, but I am going to make a theme page for Psalms too so I will put that in there so that's basically how I'm going to do it. I'll study in this, and this will just be one binder for 2023 that I'll be, not one binder, okay, because I'm obviously will have my prayer journal and stuff, but this will be my books of the Bible stuff, and I have my bookmarks up here already ready that I can use, and then at the end of the year, I'll just come back through and take the ones that are from the Old Testament and, you know, put them back into my Old Testament binder and take the New Testament ones, put them back. And then I, you know, can use this binder for something else the next year. But anyways, I just thought this would be easier rather than going back and forth. So if you are someone who you know what you're going to be reading for 2023, um, maybe this is helpful that you can kind of just make one binder. So you can kind of just grab one binder and study and then at the end of the year, you can obviously, you know, sort them back and organize them back into the binders where they go. So I just wanted to share that. 